What's nice about salon style hanging is it allows you to grow as you collect. Salon style can be very effective when it's hanging in a large space, but that's going to require a lot of frames and a lot of different sizes of frames and a lot of different types of art probably. I wanted the art intentionally to feel uh, collective. It wasn't so much that it needed to be um, congruous individually, but as a grouping it all came together. Your ultimate goal when you're grouping is to create a cohesiveness so it all hangs together. Now I think there's a lot of ways to achieve that. I think you can achieve that by having kind of similar finishes on all the frames and so you get a visual picture that looks very similar. Or you can achieve that by similar color mats or color of artwork, but you need something that's cohesive in the framing. Putting a collection of art together that is dissimilar in style um, or period or um, even art medium can work really well provided that there is a singular color story that kind of pulls everything together. It's like one big work of art as well as individual works of art. The master bedroom is a good example of some of the rules you need to adhere to when you're grouping pieces together. You'll notice that the moldings are of different periods and different styles. What's really nice is the way they've used kind of a common wood tone, darker brown, and it kind of makes the whole piece hang together. You have a wooden burl. You also have two kind of old world Italian finishes. You'll notice on the small piece a bigger frame. Generally, when people are doing groupings, they're sometimes hesitant to put that prized piece or that little precious piece in a wall grouping because they're afraid it'll get lost. But I think if you really do what they've done here with that small portrait and put a frame on it that's prominent, it can be really exciting in there because it kind of draws people up closer to look at that little precious piece. The frame that's on this small portrait is really a traditional frame. You'll notice it's higher at the back edges and your eye kind of comes in. That's for a couple reasons, but to tell you historically why that frame is like that, back in Renaissance period, those frames were very popular because they would reflect the candlelight into the piece. It really does draw your eye in and say, look at this beautiful piece. I think if you stay true to your, um, what your tastes are and what appeals to you, it will work well as a collection.